Are you interested in creating football shorts like this? In this tutorial, I will teach you how to edit this type of video using simple editing tools such as CapCut. The good thing about this tutorial is that I will cover everything you need to know to create a viral football short. Football shorts are easy to make, but they receive a lot of views on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. That's why I've taken it upon myself to teach you how to make these videos. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get more editing tips. Let's cut through the BS and dive straight into the tutorial. To create a football video, the first step is to download football clips from the internet. The easiest way to do this is to go to YouTube and search for football highlights. If you want to make a video about a specific player, like Messi, search for top 10 Messi goals of all time. You will see many highlights. Download a few clips to your device. For this tutorial, I downloaded four of the greatest goals ever scored by Lionel Messi. Depending on your title, find videos that match your topic. For example, if your video is about the best goals in football history, search for videos about that topic. In this video, I want to make a video about the best goals Lionel Messi has ever scored in football. Now that you have downloaded the video clips, it's time to edit the video. Open CapCut and click on Import Files. Select the videos you downloaded and click on Open. Next, drag the clips into the timeline. Start with the first clip and right-click on it. Choose Extract Audio, and then click on Delete to remove the audio from the timeline. Click on the timeline to zoom in or simply press Ctrl++ to automatically zoom in the timeline. You can see that this clip is 20 minutes long, and the title says, Lionel Messi 100 Magical Dribbles. However, we can't use all of it, so we need to select the most interesting sections. Select two clips out of the 100 compilation and drag the second video into the timeline. Repeat the same step we did in the first video. Right-click on the video and click on Extract Audio. Then delete the audio from the timeline and go through the compilation to select the ones you like. Follow the same procedure for the third and fourth compilation to make a 60-second video. To make your videos fit properly on Instagram Reels, TikTok, and YouTube Shorts, you need to adjust the aspect ratio. Start by clicking on the aspect ratio option and selecting 916, which is the standard size. Then, for each clip, make sure to increase its size to fit the frame properly. Follow along with me as I demonstrate this. To make a viral shot in football, keyframing is the most important part. I'm going to show you how to do it. Firstly, select the clip and go to the Position and Size option under Basic. Then, click on the Add Keyframe option and a white dot will appear on the timeline indicating that a keyframe has been entered. You need to ensure that the ball always remains inside the frame. To do this, move your timer and keep your focus on the ball. If you see the ball going out of the frame, stop and move your player. Another keyframe will be entered when you do this, which will help ensure that the ball always stays inside the frame. Make sure to add keyframes to all the clips. Let's enhance the video by applying some effects that will make it more engaging and entertaining for your viewers. Firstly, click on Effect. The first effect we recommend you apply is called Flash Vibration. Simply drag it to the timeline and place it at the end of every goal or important event for a cool effect. The second effect you should add is called Dizzy. Drag it to the timeline and apply it as needed. This time, increase the duration of each clip so that it covers the entire timeline. Your video is already coming to life and now you need to add transitions to the end of every clip. Using transitions such as white flash, down, white beam, and bump will make your video more interesting. Feel free to use any transition that you prefer. Once you finish selecting your transition, the next step is to add emojis to trigger emotions. To do this, go to Google and search for emojis. Choose one and click on copy. Then go to CapCut and select text followed by default. Place the text where you want to insert the emoji. I prefer to place it here, so click on this spot and replace the default text with the emoji you copied earlier. The next important step is to add background music to your video. This is crucial because without it, your video may become dull and viewers may lose interest before reaching the end. To avoid this, you can add music in two ways. Firstly, you can add music directly on CapCut. Secondly, you can export the video without music and then add trending music available on platforms like YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok, which can help your video gain popularity and increase engagement.
Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.